Well, hey, all you few people who watch my channel. <laughs> Here is a guitar kit that finally arrived after five months. From guitarkit.shop, also known as Pango Music. I began talking to them in mid-January of 2023. And I wanted to get a Steinberger GM type body, but I wanted it routed for a Floyd Rose because I did not want the Overlord of Music bridge system that they use with these kits. They tried to tell me it's already routed for a Floyd Rose because they consider any floating bridge to be a Floyd Rose. So I had to send them pictures of guitar bodies that are routed for an actual Floyd Rose, front and back, and then they finally realized what I was talking about, so they said, yes, we can do it. I also told them I would like them to paint it for me because I live in a condo. I can't paint it here without neighbors complaining about the smell or saying, oh, the overspray drifted onto my car, blah, blah, blah. So they said they would uh, paint it for me. So they said it would take 45 days and then 15 days to ship. So I waited about 53 days before I emailed them asking for an update. They said, we're working on it right now. Give us a little more time. A couple of weeks go by, I email them again and ask about for an update. They say, we just got back from holiday where production is resuming, but it's a little slow. Please give us more time. Fine, I give them some more time. A few weeks go by, haven't heard anything, so I ask for another update. Again, they say, they're working on it, it's almost ready. They just have to do a couple things and then it'll be done. And again, please give, give us more time. <laughs> but they also said if I cannot wait any longer that they will give me a refund if I ask for it. I said I'll wait a little longer and see what happens. So I waited and waited and waited. And finally, I got kind of got tired of waiting. Um, I was going to, I told them I would like a refund. I said, I'm, I'm sorry, I hate to do this, but I think I'm going to ask for a refund. They didn't reply. So I waited a few days and I'm giving them time because there's a 12 hour time difference between Connecticut and China. So when I'm emailing them during the day, it's nighttime for them and they're at home sleeping. So I give them the benefit of the doubt and I give them time to get back to work the next day and check the emails and you know reply but a couple of weeks have gone by they haven't replied so I said um, you know if you're not gonna give me if you're not gonna reply to me I'm gonna start a, a dispute with PayPal because I figured they're not gonna give me my money back and again um, no reply so I just I started the dispute with PayPal and immediately they replied to me saying, what are you doing? What we told you that the guitar is almost done. Now keep in mind, this is in sometime in May that this is going on. They're telling me the guitar is almost done. They've been telling me it's almost done since February. So they tell me to cancel the claim or else they will not work with me anymore. <laughs> like big deal. Now, after this, I don't plan on using them ever again anyway. So I told them I'm not going to cancel the claim because I only have a certain amount of time to do this claim with PayPal or else I can't get my money back. So I'm not going to cancel the claim. And then they said, and I told them, you know, I have a YouTube channel. I was going to do an unboxing and I'll be sure to mention your business practices. You know, you keep on telling me to wait, wait and wait. And uh, they said, send us the video link because they want my YouTube channel name. And we will tell the world about you too. We know after reading your words, we see what kind of person you are. <laughs> what kind of person? I'm the kind of person who wants a refund because you didn't make the guitar in a timely fashion. You said 45 days, and now it's like three and a half months later and the guitar is still not ready. So obviously PayPal got in touch with them to let them know there's a dispute. And pretty much the very next day, they send me pictures of the guitar body. It wasn't painted yet, but they routed it out for the Floyd Rose. They did not drill the holes for the posts 
which I told them I wanted the post holes drilled and they need to be 74 millimeters apart. So they said they would do that, you know, when I first initially started talking with them. But they sent me the pictures of an unpainted body with the routing done front and back. And the back route looked a little longer than it should be, but that could be the camera angle. It just looks like the screws that I would need to hold the claw in place would have to be longer than the normal size screws. But that could have just been the camera angle. We'll find out when I open the box. <laughs> But they said it would take another seven days to paint the guitar, so please cancel the, the claim or we will not do business with you ever again. <laughs> so I said, I'm not gonna cancel. So seven days went by and they finally issued a tracking number. So I'm hoping that they use that seven days to paint the guitar because I told them, you agreed to paint the guitar, you agreed to do the routing with those holes. If you don't do that, you didn't honor your end of the bargain, so I should at least get some sort of reimbursement. Again, they didn't answer. And uh, so they sent me pictures, and then they sent a tracking number, and for about a week, the tracking number had no information on it. They sent the tracking number on June 2nd, and it didn't have any activity on it until about the 9th. So from June 9th until today, June 22nd, I got the guitar body and I'm going to open it up and see if they painted it and drilled those holes. I also asked because the kit, the way they do it, comes with a humbucker and two single coils and I wanted two humbuckers and the, the picture they showed me had two humbuckers and the cavities for those humbuckers were nice and smooth around the edges but parts of the tremolo cavity were, had some sharp splint, splintered edges. And I told them they need to sand those down. If they did it, I don't know. We're about to find out. Uh, bear with me with the sloppy camera work right now, because I, I don't have three arms. And I think I have a dull knife blade. Also say that if you do a YouTube video of your purchase from them and promote them on your YouTube channel or Facebook page, they will give you a $15 credit, I guess. So I wonder if they would give me one <laughs> after I'm not really trashing them. I'm just uh, they need to be able to, they need to treat their customers better. They're, they're basically making a threat saying, oh, we're going to tell the world about you. Oh boy. <laughs> like my YouTube channel's really going to suffer. <laughs> they have more to lose from my YouTube video about them than I have to lose from them telling the world about me. I think I missed a piece of tape. Yep. Okay. Yeah, this video is turning out to be longer than it needs to be. So, even if they didn't drill the holes for the posts, that's no big deal. I mean, I'd have to pay my guitar tech extra to do it, but at least it would be done right. Because the guitar, the Strat copy guitar that I got from AliExpress, they drilled the holes at an angle and the, the posts were leaning towards the bridge pickup. So if they haven't drilled the holes, I'll get it done here and it'll be done right. So it's another box. Box within a box. Okay, and we've got styrofoam. And the paint is the big thing. And if it's not painted, I'll do a different type of paint job that I planned on doing on a different guitar. But let's see, did they paint it?
they did not. Okay, there's no paint on there, and they did not drill the holes. But they did sand down that part there, because the pictures they sent me, that was all sharp edges. But they were supposed to drill two holes, 74 millimeters apart. And I don't care that it's headless or not, but the Floyd Rose, I'll find the neck to use with it. I just like the body shape. So, I'm going to have an issue with PayPal, who kind of, kind of screwed me too, because PayPal said they would have the resolution by June 14th. When June 14th came around, it was extended to June 24th. So I sent them a message saying, I see you gave another 10 days in favor of the seller. That's not really fair. But, uh, yeah, that doesn't even look wide enough, as wide as it should be. It's going to be a little tight for three springs in there. Yep, Pango music. You suck. So I'm going to have to send this video to PayPal to show them that they that Pango did not paint the guitar body like they said they would. I paid extra for paint, so I should get some sort of reimbursement for this. Uh, let's see what the neck looks like. I, can, I can't use this neck on the guitar, but I might be able to use it on that other Steinberger I got from DH Gate. If the quality of this neck is better. like crap. <laughs> frets are a little, well that one, that one frets a little sharp. That's got a little bit there, but these are, these are okay. That's just, Let's feel okay. All right, maybe I'll put that on my other Steinberger. And now it sent me here. And the back cover. All right. Well, there we go. I paid extra for work be done and they only did a little bit of it so now I'm gonna have to start a uh, an argument with PayPal to see if they're gonna issue some sort of refund or get Pango to issue a refund so wish me luck